In this lesson, we're going to learn how to cut and paste from one image to another, and there's a few ways to do that. The first thing you need to do is open both your files. So you click File, Open, and browse for the sort of files that you want to look at. And I'm going to look around somewhere else because there's nothing much there. I'll have a look here in my pictures. I'm going to change the view to thumbnails and see what files I can find. Now I'm going to select an old picture folder here and I'm going to have another look in here. Down here, we see the photos. Double click on here. What I'm going to do is click this photo here to open that one. And that'll open on the screen. Now, if you maximize it like this, and you won't be able to see your other images, so you select the middle button up at the top which will allow you to have several pictures on the screen. Now I'm going to find another picture. And again, I'm going to select the thumbnails view. And there's nothing there I want to add to. So I'll go up and find somewhere else. And let's just say I want to put her lying down in the front of this picture, so I'll open this picture too. Now I've got two files open. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this picture out here and put her lying down in front of there. Now the easiest way to do that is to use a tool over here called the Magnetic Lasso Tool. Now sometimes you'll see the Lasso Tool here, so you need to hold down the button and select the Magnetic one. Now this allows you to draw around, clicking as you go, around the image that you want to keep it will find the edges for you. If you make a mistake and it goes the wrong way, just press the backspace key and it will go back one selection. And then you can continue on. Now I'm going to just do a little bit of a rough job here and work my way around this picture of my daughter who's fast asleep until I get back to the beginning. And when you get back to the beginning, it will change to this dotted line. If you don't have a clear end, you can just double click and it will do that. Now I'm also going to select the feathering up here to two pixels. This will give it a bit of a smooth edge. We'll make it three rather than a, a very sharp edge. Now to move it over I have to change to the move tool. So I click on the move tool over here then click and hold down this section. You'll notice it can move away and you'll see it's a bit of a blurry edge. I'm going to drag it down onto this photo. And there you go. I've actually put her in the, mid, in the front there. I'm going to move her over a bit so it looks like she's lying down in front of the picture and with a slight blurry edge there it doesn't look really obvious that I've cut it out. You'll notice on the side here and the layers, this is a layer on top of that so I can alter this image here and it won't affect the background. I'll also alter the background and it won't affect this image here. I'm going to save this as the new merged and again, if I want to, I've got to change it to a JPEG so you can find it in any program and click Save. Leaving the quality as it is, away we go. 